Now, Saturday, she spoke with Art Harris, an Emmy Award winning investigative journalist. A lot of people are trying to blame me for something like that, but I would never hurt any little kid. Just, just I so love Haley more than anything in this world. That was like my baby. Um, they used to call me stepmom. You know, they'd rather be with me than their own mother. All right, whether that's true or not, uh, a little blow to, to Haley's mom, as some say. Let, let, joining me now to talk about this, Art Harris. Uh, he founded the website, The Bald Truth. Been following this closely. Art, glad to have you with us. All right, you spoke with her. Uh, that was part of your exclusive interview with Misty Now Cummings. Uh, you know, you mentioned blame. She's suspicious because she can't keep her story straight, or hasn't, it seems. Does she have a solid timeline now? Is her story straight now? Well, I know what she told me, and it's uh, reported on ArtHarris.com that uh, you know that night, uh, you know, she uh, got up. Uh, she said if she put the, bed, the kids to bed at eight o'clock, uh, that was Haley's bedtime when she was in school. Didn't go to sleep right away, uh, but uh, she thought she was asleep. But it was in thirty minutes, and uh, Misty was up uh, washing the blankets, uh, laid a blanket on top of Haley when she was sleeping, and then made her bed, got into bed, woke up about three a.m. to go to the bathroom. On the way to the bathroom, she said she noticed. The kitchen light was on. Uh, I walked in the, to the back door and noticed the back door was open, she told me. So I run back to my bedroom to get my cell phone to call Ronald, and that's when I noticed Haley was gone. Okay. Uh, and anyway, she, you know, it's all on the, it's on the website, artharris.com. But she seemed very calm when she talked to me uh, and, you know, was not uh, at all uh, uh, flustered or rough, you know, ruffled. And I know that, you know, they've talked to her. Police have talked to her several times. They'd like to uh, possibly talk to her again at some point. Uh, but they're doing that with everybody in the case. Right. Um, and um, they've got about 3,500 tips they're following up on, and now they're going back, doubling back uh, to a number of those. Okay, you'd mentioned, and watching that interview that you did with her, she was very, seemed very confident. Misty, did she seem rehearsed to you? Like she's gone over the story, so there's a confidence now? Okay, when I found her right outside a local sit goes to hang out in Satsuma, a little blink of the eye to go down Highway 17 here in rural Florida. And she was there with her, her new mother in law, uh, Teresa Nevis, and then her husband Ronald, who went inside. Uh, and she, so she was, you know, basically cold cocked and surprised. And in that, uh, in that encounter, did seem very relaxed and, and just more herself than I've ever seen her. So I think you've got to attribute some of this nervousness and, and freezing up to perhaps nervousness and perhaps youth. And uh, gotcha. uh, so, you know, to give her a, the benefit of the doubt, she's uh, uh, not been charged with anything and no one is, uh, uh, you know, labeling her uh, any sort of suspect. Right. So, you know, this, we have to give her a break right now. Gotcha. Okay. Taking my call. Yeah. Sir. Uh, I'm a retired New York City detective. I just want to make a you know point of observation and a uh, question. If you look at uh, some of the previous um, interviews that the uh, media have done, uh, if you look at Misty's uh, body language, her eyes, very furtive, you know, when answering some questions, and uh, the point now, the question where the uh, cadaver dogs hit on the dumpster, did the authorities in Florida actually lift up the dumpster and excavate beneath the dumpster? And is there a connection between the owner of the dumpster and the family? Just okay. my point. Okay, a couple questions there. We'll try and get through as many as we can. Art, what the dump? Oh. They, they did a thorough investigation of the dumpster, didn't they? Yeah, I I, uh, I I don't know a lot about the dumpster. I can tell you that the dogs actually uh, did lead. Uh, investigators to a body of water, and uh, they had the you know it, it stopped there, and you've got okay. uh, some volunteers who come in, they've done some diving, but nothing. So. Harris, uh, Art's joining us once again. She seemed confident, she seemed glib, but then you you look at her on the Today Show with Meredith Vieira, and it's uh, you know just the blank stare, and I don't know why my story is changing. Uh, Art, you mentioned her explanation. Let's listen to that. What she told you about what happened uh, the night little Haley went missing. Leslie, do we have okay. that? The, not yet. Okay. Uh, you know, it's the explanation of what happened that night. Uh, and Art, I can give you a rundown, but you, I think, uh, well, let me ask you this about that, because one thing that has been inconsistent is like, all right, who was with who? Who was sleeping with who? Were you, were you with Junior? Were you with uh, Haley? Does she have that side of it straight now? What, what you told me, Mike, was that um, uh, there was a little squabble over what movie to watch, and uh, uh, little little Haley wanted to to watch a little Disney dog movie, and uh, Junior wanted to watch Madagascar, so she she put one in the living room, one in the bedroom. They got to each watch, and then uh, she uh, she put them in bed uh, with her, uh, and uh, uh, eventually. Uh, Haley on the floor in the little her little bed, uh, and then that's when she uh, wakes up in the middle of the night to go to okay. the bathroom. So uh, you know, the rest uh, has been related uh, in other interviews. Gotcha.